Hey guys, Trust Couple here, and yeah, we're gonna get started on Borderlands the pre sequel. I'm on this menu because I just want to make sure I don't get into it and something messes up, as some of you might only notice with one of the videos, which I'm not gonna mention. Like, <coughs> Ender Dragon! <coughs> yeah, but anyway, let's get started. If you're wondering, I've been doing a lot of Borderlands 2, so I'll be doing that on maybe True Ball Hunter mode or. A fresh start on a new castle that even I don't know about. Um, but for now, let's go on the pre sequel. Because I've done all the DLCs now, I thought, you know what, I'm going to do the pre sequel. Let's see what I can do. I do not know anything about the pre sequel and how it works. Um, it's a shame Borderlands 1 and the Tales from Borderlands, because I've yesterday I watched the Tales from Borderlands actually, and it doesn't look that bad. I mean, it's not the same as what I thought it would be, but fair enough. It would be nice if it came on because it was on Xbox, so yeah. And Borderlands 1, I think, should have been on here, because, you know, oh well. Right, let's start. There might be actually content, I don't know if I get anything special for playing other games. Um, okay. Um, I accept. Oh, that's cute. Um, I don't know how this works. Okay, unlock that. Alright guys, let's get to the work. a job offer from a low-level Hyperion programmer. Come to the moon, it said. Hunt a vault to be a hero. I didn't trust Hyperion. But I was too hungry to pass up a paying job. And what did you find? Violence, insanity, and a hero.
Sorry guys, what? Okay. Well, all I know is I'm assuming this is like out of balance one, so that means Jack wasn't like how he looked like before. Okay. I'm gonna. I don't know any of them. I might. You guys are gonna be angry, but I want to go for claptrap. Okay, what should we name them? And there. Uh... Now I'll go for the scumball. Guys, this might be awesome parts as well, but like, I'll be like continuing from one part to the other because literally I'm sounding like this. Um, I'll see what would look better for him. Yes, I'm sure. Seriously, catch up. Yes, I want to be crap trap. I like robot like things. There's a little spoiler. I might play as um the guy, the the girl, the robot in the Borderlands next one because I literally would like to play it. Okay. You've earned a badass rank. Badass ranks are awarded for completing challenges. Badass ranks are an avenue of growth and oh, oh, growth for you across all of your characters. Only ranks sometimes grant you grant you awards tokens and turn in reward tokens in each echo device and bonuses for all your characters. Okay. Oh, I have got a lot. Um, I have got a lot. Okay, let's go. This might take me a while, but you know. 
I'm going as fast as I can, guys. I know I'm probably making mistakes on some of them, but, you know, it's cool. Don't worry. I am spamming the button like no tomorrow. <laughs> uh, I am actually looking forward to playing this, guys. Um, so, yeah, let's just get, let's get this started. Hmm. Welcome to Helios. Follow the claptrap, otherwise known as claptrap unit. To meet the man behind the vision, your employer, and the man who's supposed to check Jack. Okay, yeah, yeah, whatever. I'm going to follow him, but I just want to make sure I know what I'm doing. What's this? Okay, I've only got two weapons, that's cool. He's alright. I missed the clock traps. Alright, let's go then. Feels weird being like a little... The mission has an area waypoint. Area waypoints give you general location of your objective, but you must search here it's funny. Okay. I kind of know I'm doing a search, but some of you might be thinking, okay. Oh, God, no. Oh, okay, I'm fine. All right. I'm, I'm actually a true boring because I literally go for everything. Um, I wonder, do we actually have gold keys in this one? That'd be cool, because then I could buy, like, OP guns and everything, because I did that on Borderlands 2, but... Oh, it's a shame, really, because I mean, I don't know, I don't, it doesn't matter. Oh, I've got grenades. Okay, I need grenades. Ain't good. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. In hit. I am bad at aiming. Maybe because it's a clap trap, or maybe I just need to get more skill first so I can do stuff properly. I, that's probably one of the reasons. Okay, you know, let's try pistol. Yeah, I'm bare pistol. I am way better at pistol. Okay, as well guys, I will be picking up loads of chests because, you know, of course there might be a weapon or something I can use. Because at the moment I don't have anything really, so anything will be good. And anything that can help me aim better, so this gun, you know. But for now I'll just use a pistol, and some probably more better of it. Level two. No. This is bad, you know what? Forget this.
Move up, punch, bitch! Oh, about so don't tell me that's... Oh, this is really bad. I wonder, if you get down, do you have, like, the second win like you did in the other games, or... I don't know, but just in case... I'm just going to pretend there isn't, so... Oh! Yes, I do! Okay, that's good. And that's quite bad, because this is the first mission I've already got down. Um, okay, I can't use half of it. I need to get to level 2, so for now I'm going to kill these enemies so I can pick up more weapons. Yes, I have grenades, awesome. Yeah, yeah, Jack, I'll help you out whenever I want. Okay, got health. Mm -hmm. Alright guys, if it's going to take this long as well, I'll cut the parts after every mission. So, when I finish this mission and stuff, then you know. Yeah, yeah, I know. I could kill him right now. Before I actually do... Ah, okay, leveling up permanently. Okay, you just leveled up. Leveling up permanently increases the amount of health you have and the amount of damage you deal. It is also immediately gives you the full health and shields. So. For, so, I. Oh. I don't have any skill points whatsoever. Right. Okay. Well, I'm about to end the video in a second because, to be honest, I don't want to get too far into it. So, let's just get some ammo and then I'll call it an episode. Um, I know this might have been a little bit short as such, but like I said, um, I don't want to do it in all big bunches because it takes longer to upload as well, plus... You know, if I did it all at once, you know, there won't be any, there won't be much for me to do. And plus, I really want to enjoy this game. Um, as well, if there was any bits I cut it out, then, or I might have done off camera, then, you know, there's a reason. Because sometimes, like, my Elgato does mess up. But if worse than that, I'll get screenshots and just say, look, I did do it, or try to. But I'm not going to get, I'm not going to get in a habit of doing that. Worse than that, if this all, well, we know, if this messes up, then I'll just redo it again. I don't mind. <laughs> but if it doesn't, then you guys will be seeing this. <laughs> Alright guys, I think I've got just about everything, have I? Or... I don't know. Hmm. The one thing I want to know is that, like, do you get, um, like, do you get to keep playing even after the campaign? Or does it just finish completely? Because I wonder, after Jack gets beaten, or whatever, I don't know, like, I've just noticed some things. Like, I wonder, do we still get to play as the character? Because I'll be a bit sad if that means once that's it, that's it. I wonder, will you be able to, like, do side missions, you know, like in the other games? Because that'll be cool. Because I want to do that with you guys. And you guys can see, because I would like to do that. If not, ball hands too, you know, I can do stuff with you. Um. Okay. I think we've just about got everything, so I might just call this video before I turn him in, because it's going to lead on to other things, yada yada yada. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this episode, and I'm going to roll into the next video, so yeah. See you guys. Bye.